So what we are seeing here is a brand new demo of Bitcop. Uh, like few short words of introduction, Bitcop is a mix of adventure and time management game. Uh, it's, it's heavily inspired by 80s cap shows. So when you think about the Miami Vice and Kojak and stuff like that, uh, that's the police quest as a game. And uh, that's the vibe that we wanted to put in the game. So long story short, you're a former detective that has been framed into murder. Right now you've been demoted and you're back on the street after 20 years or something like that. And you have 21 days to actually clean your name. The thing is that, you know, in your new job, your new boss doesn't care about your past. You know, he doesn't care that you have some problems. And he expects you to do the beat cap job. That, and that's where the game starts. Because uh, this game is, like I said earlier, it's about time management. So you're a regular cap and obviously you have the regular cap duties to be done. So you have to write tickets, you have to chase shoplifters, you know, and just try to keep everything, you know, in place. And at the very same time, there are other things that happen on the street and you have to take care of them as well. So that's what, what you're seeing here right now is the briefing. That's the very beginning of each day. During the briefing, you're introduced to your new job, your new colleagues from work, and you're being told what are your objectives for today. Because that you're on the street and you have to do some street work. So the thing is, like, the, the deeper we go in the game, the more and more things are happening here. So actually, uh, each day has a limited amount of time, and you have to decide, like, where to stress, what do you want to put the stress on? So, okay, so do you want to be a good cop that's writing tickets? Or maybe you prefer to do investigation? So you have to decide because for sure, sooner or later, you won't be able to squeeze everything in that day. So we have to make some decisions. And depending on those decisions, uh, it will change the outcome of the game. Because the game dynamically reacts to what you are doing. So for example, if you are good with people, and if you are doing good things, uh, they may like you. And they, they some new opportunities may come up. But if you are, you know, being a pain in the ass for them, and you was writing tickets for everyone in the neighborhood, they obviously they don't like you, they will never have information like that. So the game reacts and responds to what, what you are doing. So here right now, uh, we get the list of things. This is the very first day on the district, so obviously we have to you know meet the people, we have to talk with them. Actually, you have to recall how it used to be when you were a bit cop, so you know, writing tickets, all that dull work, because you know, you've been a detective, you've been doing you know, interesting stuff, and now you're back on the streets. So let's go to the streets. Yeah. So what you see here is like, literally that's the, that's the taste of the 80s that we want to keep. The game takes place in the 80s in the Brooklyn, New York. Uh, that's one of the districts that is your district from now on. Like, you can keep playing, one check, just like, go on. Uh, yeah. So obviously, you, well, you, there's a fat mic and that's the guy that will like introduce you to the neighbor, neighborhood. Uh, when you see that game, what comes to mind is games like pa Papers, Please, for example. So when, but in Papers, Please, you were closed in that little booth and you, you can only decide like, uh, okay, so should I let that person inside or not? And here's like m much bigger, because the street is wide. It's like five screens like that in terms of our length. So it's like a lot of people to see there, a lot of, you know, things that are happening around the street. Uh, and you will take, have to take care of all of those. So right now is the day, furthest day. So Fat Mike will introduce you to the, to the people who slept in the Damski store. And like I said, this game is about being a cop, but it's not like you're a cop and you know, in some fictional world. No? There are people, real people here, they're having problems, they're having their, their lives, and you have to interact with them, you have to talk with them, try, you know, try to look if there's something you can do to help them actually, uh, and that will result in some different outcomes later in the game. Uh, what, what we wanted to have is that, uh, like I said before, the game is heavily inspired by 80s cap shows, so it's a serious thing, you know, it's a murder investigation, you've been framed, that's a serious and tough stuff. But then again, we wanted to keep the vibe of those movies, so there's like a lot of you know witty comebacks, one-liners, uh, kind of offensive jokes, because we didn't want you know to make like the PC proper game, but we rather prefer to stick to the original mood of those times, and that we have in the game. So you know, so there's the peep show, and there are strange things can happen in the peep show, but that's how the peep shows work. Uh, obviously, like the game might look. What, what, what we want to have is that you know it's a somehow like the simulator being a cop, so we are doing the cop work, but in opposite to typical games that are just representing dull works, here is like the story is quite important. I'm like, you know, in the end there's a huge investigation happening uh, and you are actually doing detective work. So when you're, when you're roaming the street and you're talking with people, you can gather clues and when you get them, uh, it's all up to you to connect the dots. So it's just like, you know, just in many nowadays games, you just, you know, follow from waypoint A to waypoint B and waypoint C. And uh, that won't happen here. 
you'll be able, you know, if you if you connect the dots proper, properly, you may be able, you know, to talk to the right people, ask the right questions, and that will lead you further in the investigation. And if you don't do that, well, it's your problem, right? You have 21 days, uh, and if you don't find, uh, you know, the, the answers by that time, obviously you'll get kicked out of the forest because no one wants a murder within the forest. Uh, so what we are seeing right now is like, you know, the very basic work of the beat cups, like giving parking tickets. It's boring, but you know someone has to do that. And giving tickets is one of the things that happens here. But like the, on the very first day, it seems easy because you have a lot of time, and actually no one is putting pressure on you. But later on, you there, there's the conflict starts because, like I said before, more and more things are become possible, and the days only last only 10 hours, and you have to squeeze in. So maybe this is okay. So maybe I will dedicate like half of the day for the tickets and then half of the day for the other stuff. And, but when you do that, obviously some other things happen and you are not able to give the tickets. And you know, if you don't do your work properly, you can get kicked out of the force. And that will be the end of the game because ultimately you have to stay in the police to find the answers. Uh, I think it's like, we, when you're writing tickets, just in real life, you know, you can try to fa uh, write fake tickets, you know, wrong tickets. You, know, you can say, okay, I don't, ha I don't want to I don't want to spend much time on it, so I'm going to write bogus tickets, maybe no one will notice. And that may happen, you know, because we, we don't want to make the game like a mechanic thing, so it's not like you write two bogus tickets and that's fine, and you write the third one and suddenly it's wrong. No, it depending on the current circumstances, you know, sometimes you may write the tickets day by day, fake tickets, and no one will notice that, and on the other hand, on the day, you know, make, write the first one, and someone will complain about it, and you have trouble. Obviously, people can, you know, they when People don't like getting tickets, obviously, so you, have, you will have to deal with them. Uh, so they can threaten you, they can try to bribe you, and that's something you can do. Because, for example, uh, later you will find out that in the alimony for your ex-wife, that is, uh, well, bitching about it, let's be honest. Uh, and you are not making much money at being big beat cop. So obviously, taking bribes seems like a good solution to that problem, and you can do that. And again, uh, sometimes you can take the bribes for like weeks, no one notice. Sometimes you take the first one, police will get will catch you and there's a lot of trouble from that yeah uh, later on so we are we just wrote our tickets uh, for, for first tickets we are just almost done with meeting other people uh, and you see we just, we wanted to you know to put a different mood in all those places so when you go like here to, to the pharmacy the director uh, the guy is apparently some like ex-nazi that explained ex uh, escape war and suddenly he's running drugstore here uh, so it's like small, let's say, call small jokes that are here and there. Uh, but it's really important to know your district because, you know, everything happens here, right? Uh, there are like, I think, almost 20 locations that you can enter, I think. Uh, so with three characters and, you know, different things happen, happen there. But what is cool is like, you know, we don't want to force anyone to actually be like a good cop, like don't know why, no. In this game, actually, you can decide like of your future, and like you know, some people may think, okay, being good cop is you know the best solution for my problems. So, you know, hopefully, the force will recognize me for that, and they will you know clean my name. But you can think, okay, the cops obviously won't help me anymore, so I'll go side with mafia because mafia they have money, they have resources, and that's actually something that may help you to find your reach your ultimate goal, and you can do that. Obviously, uh, if you start working with mafia, you know the police won't be happy, so you have to like hide from that, and it's like. In the end, you know, after a few days, you realize that being on the street is like navigating through murky waters because there are different sides, uh, factions here, and everyone is like fighting for their interest, and you're in the middle of that, and actually everyone wants to crush you. So you have to find your some allies, you have to make some enemies, uh, and that's important. But then again, when you're making enemies, you can't, cook, cook, uh, you, you can't you know, cross, cross some borders because, for example, mafia may decide they want to kill you because you're a problem for them. Okay. Uh, so what you're seeing here right now is an early alpha build. We are just announced the game. That's a very new build we are testing here. Uh, and the game is scheduled to be released on this fall. So firstly for PC and later on we'll see. So actually I, I encourage everyone to stay tuned because there's a lot of good thing to happen about Bitcoin.